Where's the specs? Can I have... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, well, oh, dude just gonna get these! Well, she's out there mad. Alright, hon, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Alright, here. I'm out. I'm gone. You wanna go too? Alright. Good morning. So just as with the snow was starting to go away. But these guys came out. But these guys came out this time around. Go check their nests. What's up, Rody? What's up, Rody? What's up, Riley? Let's go check the nest. It's funny, all the little prints. So yeah, this is all this was starting to go away. We got hit again, which I ain't horrible as you see, but I mean it's enough. It's enough to make me unhappy. <laughs> never like that. Oh wow, no one's in here. No one at all. Well, except for you guys just walking in. Man, man. A little short this morning, guys. Are you guys trying to tell me you guys ain't gonna do nothing unless if unless I give you give you guys something? I'm gonna hook you guys up. Come back around. The other door's never that hard to open up. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to get them more of this stuff. They'll be all right here at the door. Watch. Where's everybody else at? Come on, Goldie. Come on, Goldie Horn. Girls! <laughs> snow's, snow's cold on your feet. Come on, Goldie Horn. Go get you some snacks. Oh, it's chilly. Yeah, and then tomorrow, Wednesday, it's supposed to be 50s. Let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Five of them is probably on the outside of the yard, which, of course, one of those guys, well, much quiet, I think it's right there. We're <laughs> you eating snow, bud. Make sure you don't get the yellow stuff. Where's the other five? Hey, guys, you guys are missing out over here. Yeah, there's the other five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually surprised they came out. They spent five days in their coop. It would not come out. So maybe they finally realized this stuff ain't going to hurt them, hurt them. The little toast could get frosted. I've even seen a couple people talk about how the, the roosters uh, comb or their uh, those testicle looking things underneath their beaks, which I can't remember what they're called for the life of me. But um, I've heard them even like, I guess can like get frostbitten, which I mean makes sense. Anything probably can get frostbitten. But it's cold out there. Yeah, so tomorrow is supposed to be like 54. So all this is going to melt again. And it'll freeze up again. Man, I tell you, but the sun's shining, it's great. Looks like it's so nice and warm out there. And the actual, the actual reality is it's really cold. That's why these guys are standing right here. What do you want? No, you're fine outside. The sun actually feels pretty good. What are you girls doing? Hmm? Huh? Foghorn. Man, you gotta turn this deck apart. You know when it gets nicer, 
you guys are forbidden. Right. Pups are playing like they need to be. That sun's helping things melt. Those guys are silly. Whoa. Not quite sure what's going on with that door. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that's a wild looking guy. So, so far that is, I believe, seven. They'll be walking through here any minute. See, if you ask me, if they're smart enough to know that, oh, he's going into the shed, that means he's coming in our, into our coop. Then I think they're smart enough to know, oh, it's getting dark out. We need to work our way back to the coop. Here, right there they come. Now you tell me that they're not smart enough to figure out how to get back in this coop at night. What are you girls doing? Penguin, Gemma. Someone mentioned a viewer um, commented these are sapphire gems. Yeah, that's why her name's Gemma for Jim. And she's paying one. She has nothing to do with it. Sound like a, a sapphire gem, but yeah. There's Henrietta. There's old Buttercup. I love how the little little combs flap over like that. Well, so I'm taking a couple tips from a couple of the viewers. I believe a couple different viewers have mentioned doing this about microwaving the eggshells, and I had a couple of viewers. Other different viewers saying use a, a baggie to be able to crush them up in. So I'm taking your guys' advice, really appreciate it. And today I'm going to be taking the pups, which are just a little over one years old, Ruger and Riley, to go get updated and weighed. The last time they were weighed was like in June, and he weighed about 95 pounds. And that was probably like seven months old. Now they just turned one in October. So it's going to be very interesting to see just how much he weighs now. But yeah, I think this idea is going to work really good. Taking a plastic cup, I get it. I just got to stick my little Indianapolis Colts cup here. I do have a blender. I've seen a couple mention about blenders, but I think this would be all right. I mean, if it's crushed up this good, I think I think it would be good. I'm probably making a big mistake doing this, but they're all out front. They were a minute ago anyway, but yeah, they really do like this stuff. I'm very, very curious though to see how today goes, how much he weighs. I'm guessing he's between 120 and 130 if I had to guess. I could be way off, but if he was 95 pounds months ago, her, I'm guessing around one. 100, 110, she was 85 pounds in June, and the same age, the brother and sister. Yes, she's fixed. She got fixed as soon as I guess the best would possibly do it, which was like four months old. It was very, very scary because I've heard that, you know, puppies can get pregnant really, really young around about that age. But let's go see how they, they like these guys. 
So yeah, I think I've got them crushed up pretty good. And seems like a great idea, guys. That really helped out a lot. Let's see how they like them. Which they always like them. But I I'm probably making a huge mistake doing this out here. But where'd they all go? I might just do it this way. Because I know where they're at. They're all over here. Yeah, they're all over here. Look at, look at, look at Rody. What's up, Rody? Here, here, girls. You guys want some of that? You guys munch on that a little bit? What are you doing, Rody? What are you doing, Rody? They're all over there. They're all over there. They're all over there. Foghorn? Come over here and eat something, dude. What are you doing, pups? See how fast they jump off that deck? Look at them. A little blurry. I need to take the wide lens off this. So I apologize. No need to fight. There's plenty there. I like how the boys stay back. It's wild how... Here, they're the, supposed to be the tough guys. I don't think there's anything else in here, girl. I could try to... Get whatever else out there. Brody, what are you doing? What are you whining about, Foghorn? Y'all be happy you're still here. Brody, what are you doing? I love her. She's awesome. She is awesome. But look at the turquoise. Can you guys see the tur turquoise? That's Chaquanda over here. That's um, Onyx. Look at the back of their heads, though. Should I be concerned, guys, with the back of their heads, the girls' heads looking like that? Obviously, it's from... Oh, Horny Toad there. Because Foghorn wasn't even... But, yeah, she's got an indention. I know Specs. There's Specs. She has an indention. Looks like people have been leaving Rody alone for the most part. You guys can get in there, but there ain't much in there. Doesn't look like um, Goldie Hawn's got a whole lot of going on in her head. Nor Chiquanda. But yeah, real pretty. like Almost like little goldish colors, too. If you can see. Yeah, yeah, I've got all of them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Oh, 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 what are we doing? Buttercup's like, uh, you ain't doing that to me, dude. No, don't even think about bud. Don't even think about bud. Oh, look at her. She ran him off. There's Hennifer, Goldie. Boy, Buttercup, she just runs him off. She's like, dude, don't be playing me. Oh. Is it Henrietta that I'm missing? She probably, she's probably the nest box. They're going to follow me anyway. And it's like, guys, I just gave you guys. What are you guys doing? Yeah, you guys don't want to step on that snow, do you? <laughs> they just follow me everywhere. I don't know. Maybe if I at least don't put the trees right in the front right here maybe they'll incorporate the side yard for treats and not right here out front like as you see <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys along with me as long as I took my friend in and help me um, tape record while I control them because they're they're strong I really appreciate her helping me do this because I, I could do it on my own by what about tape, obviously. And it would be hard anyway if I wasn't taping because trying to get one to stay still as the other one sits down and stays still for a minute to, for the scales to, to read. So that worked out great, guys. I really appreciate the tips. I mean, I've really worked out really good. Like, they usually, like, obviously stick together and they're all over my hands. Like, um, I'm not going to mention the viewer's name because I'm not sure they want the name out their name out there or whatever um but she had noticed that i had 
<laughs> eggshells, a lot more eggshells on my hands than I did on the, the plate. That worked out really great, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys here shortly. All right, so the events that you guys are about to witness, I'm just giving you guys a heads up, is crazy. Um, she did the best she could at recording, which I really, really appreciate her helping me out. There's just no, no way I could have done it without her. I really appreciate her help. Um, she's also new, obviously, again, at um, recording it. And really, I think anybody with good experience in recording, it wasn't going to matter in this situation. <laughs> They're just too strong, especially Ruger. So it, it does get crazy. It's shaky. We did the best to our abilities to get the, their weight shown on the scale, on the little screen. But I'm hoping you guys enjoy. It's kind of funny and comical in certain ways. <laughs> but um, yeah, I might need Caesar, Caesar Milan. I might need him. No, I'm kidding. They're only one. But they're just strong. I mean, they're just strong for their age and everything. I said, there again, especially Ruger. He is strong. So, I hope you guys enjoy what you guys are about to witness. Hi, baby. All right, so we're on our way to town, into town to Pet Smart. And it has, um, a veterinarian place, I believe it's called, um, what I said was called? Not sure. <laughs> started with you B. Can, you can speak up. A, I think it started with B. Anyway, I forget the name of the veterinarian place, but they have a scale I can step them on. Yeah, it's back in June where I, when I le um, last weighed them, he was 95 pounds and she was 85 pounds. So here we are, what, July, August, February. Mm. We're eight months later. My guess is 125 for him, 113 for her. What do you guess? Oh my gosh. Oh, sit down. Um, you said 125 for him? And 113 for her. I'll go 120 for him. Okay. 110 for him. Okay. Oh, her. Else? I'm sorry. Put your comments below. Your, put, uh, put your comments below what you guys guess they weigh. Don't wait till after the video and after the scales to do it. Let's see who's closest. So 120 and 110 for me. 120 and 110 for you. 120. 125 for me. Maybe way off, but I just don't see how we can be that off because June being so long ago, he was 95 pounds. I mean, yeah. if anything, he's gained hey, the Bubba. most. But she's, hey, little, Bubba. she's Little. Uh -uh. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Get back. Get, Get back. That's my fault. God, he's a boss. Get back. Sit down. Yeah, my, my last my last Roddy male, Kilo, he had gotten up to 160. That was after he was full grown. The vet said he was a little tad overweight. So I got him down to 140. But this guy here, he's all muscle. <laughs> And he's only one. <laughs> so he still has another pup, a year of puppy growth and adult weight to put on after that. So we'll see you guys here in a minute when we get to the when we get to pet smart. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Boy, they're gonna jump out of here. That good old pet smart. And they're still bringing buckets. Right. You said 125 and 113. What'd you say? I said 120 and 110, I believe. Let them snip around first, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Come on, babies. Come on, baby. Come on, Riley. 
Took it, you know. What a, what a raw blow. Okay. Easy. What's this? Field Pet Hospital. Oh. <laughs> you can hold on to her. Your best bet is to put your hand through the, your, the wrist. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Sit, baby. Oh, I Sit, Bubba. Be good Sit, Bubba. Good boy. One, oh, two. Ruger. <laughs> it's about one of one. Was it one on one point eight, something like that? Yeah. So I was, I was way off. He's the, the very strong. So. All right, hold on. Ruger, Ruger, Ruger. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Sorry, Ruger was pulling me. He's not gonna fight. He's just, yeah. he's just trying. He's just curious. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Thank you. So she's about 96. So they're not far off their weight. That is crazy. No, you're right. He's strong. <laughs> he is strong. I, that's hard to believe though. He's like. That's Riley. Thank you. Um, one, they just turned one Sit. in October. Sit. Yeah, they're, they're brother and sister. What's this one's name? That's Riley, and the other one's Ruger. I got him. Hey, come here. Smash my hand. Come. Well, Ruger's come. acting crazy. <laughs> Big old puppies. Okay. All right, so 101 eight, and what was she? Yeah, that was, that's hard to believe, but yeah. 96? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. We can do anything Thanks. for you. Let us know. All right, all right thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Stop. Sit. 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 Act right. Calm down. Calm down. All right. <laughs> God, they're strong. They were, he, he must just be so fit. Yeah. I mean, he could have just pulled me around the sore with my left hand. And he's 101, so what was it like five pounds? Was it 1.8? 1, 1. Yeah, because it was just under two. 102. Come on, pops. Pops. <clears throat> well, Go, Riley. Stop pulling like an idiot. <laughs> so, so, well, whoever came close to. 100 pounds basically for both of them, really. Yeah. What they were talking about. I, was, I, was I can't believe they're five pounds apart. <laughs> What's that? I can't believe they're five pounds apart. She's so know. tiny. Sense, well, especially Ruger acting crazy and me throwing you the oh, camera. Dog. No, Ruger, back. Riley, get up here. Sis, come on. <laughs> oh, you have to go come on. <laughs> she don't want to get up there. <laughs> yeah. My back be feeling great. So yeah, just got back from taking the pups to get weighed and everything, and not sure how accurate those scales could be. I mean, that, that's basically saying he gained like a pound a month. They're sacked out. Oh, well, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, but anyway. For her to only be a few pounds less than him, like it just doesn't, I don't know. She's a lot littler. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what, they're enjoying everywhere but that backyard. And, oh, there's Cheeky. Everybody's just, look at that. 
Yeah, it's like they don't want to be in the yard at all. But yeah, is that right, bud? So yeah, they they actually hardly even stay in the backyard no more anymore. Now they're gonna follow me because they think I have something for them. It's so funny how they run. I mean, they're faster than what you would think if you don't have chickens. They could scoot. But yeah, I mean, just look at him though. Compared to her. But yeah, so she registered just a few pounds off of him. I mean, look at the size difference. I mean, if I could get them to go, hey guys, let's go outside. Come on. If I can get them to run away from me, I mean, look how much beefier he is than her. I mean, and taller. I don't quite understand. I don't quite understand how that's possible. I think their scales are off. I mean, at the same time, but look at them looking at me like, oh, I thought you were coming out. All right, I'll come out too for a minute. I don't feel too bad out here. I cannot wait to take a pressure washer to this deck. This deck is nasty. The only reason why I allowed them up here, because I have a gate. You guys will see me use this a lot in the summer. I'm probably going to rebuild it because I want to make it look more like the, the actual um, railing. But that was just kind of like a quick fix to keep the dogs. It was meant to keep the dogs out. The... Um, Chickens were kind of like a last thing, like, like never even thought they would want to come up here as much as they do. Like, boy, Cluck, what are you saying? I'm so glad so far he hasn't seemed too um, aggressive. But so yeah, so today was beautiful. It's starting to cool back down again because it's like around six o'clock in the afternoon. I could seriously probably like after it rains big time, like I, you probably seriously, I could put like a fake alligator head sticking out of the ground. And, and you guys, if you didn't know any better, you guys would probably believe that, that I had a damn alligator living in here. Good. Haven't been out in the barn here in a little bit. For those who have watched the videos, you guys know why I keep that tarp there. I know it looks like garbage. I know it does, but until I get concrete, the four inch thick concrete pad in here, they're gonna, it just kind of like lets, it kind of just like lets all my heat out. And right now I'm not even got the heat on and that's at 40, 42 in here. So it's chilly, but I just, to just click that thing on. I did have it to where it was running and my electric bill was like, oh, it was like double. Like, oh, okay. Like, nah, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to suck it up and if I'm gonna come out here and mess around, I'm taking a little bit of a break so it's getting so burnt out of being out here. I mean, look, he's a hoss compared to her. I mean, she's skinny. Like, she's thin, like I thought she needed to gain some weight. And he is, he's, he's a hoss. He's a beast. He does not look like he, uh, who's here? Go see. Go see. Go see. Without hurting the chickens. I don't know. They like that, so it keeps them kind of busy, too. Thinking that they're serving a purpose. That they're serving a purpose for Dad, and he'll get mad. <laughs> Sometimes I'll roll. <laughs> He'll get mad and upset with me. He'll, he'll, he'll be at the door here in a second. Be like, butthead, I wouldn't check for you. I wouldn't check for you if someone was here and you take off. But yeah, you guys tell me if that looks right. I mean, seriously. I mean, go back if you want to and check out the video. Even if you just want to like, scroll through it, the video real fast and see um, the weight, the weights. I mean... It seems like to me the scale's gotta, gotta be off. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, but I just, I want an accurate measurement. I don't think I got it. Like, I really don't. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate um, you guys tuning in and checking this out. I know a lot of you guys love the, the pups, Ruger and Riley, and they're a pain in my behind, but 
I love them. I do love them. I'm trying to keep that light better to the viewer mentioned about the light, which I really appreciate the, the, the comment on that. I'm trying to work on the shaking. I know this video is going to be shaky at especially the pet store. I was pulling a friend of mine. She's never done that before, and I'm not even that good at it still, and I've been doing it since July. I mean, so definitely while we we're getting their weights, it was an adventure. I mean, he is he is strong. Like, like there again, I'm used to having a 140-pound, 160-pound male, and he was strong. But Ruger is strong. Like he he just he's got he's just built. So she couldn't handle the camera and the dog at the same time. So I was like, had to hold on to him while I was trying to get her to sit. And when I had him on the scales, he was too concerned about what was going on around him and everything. I definitely have to take this spring and summer and go on more walks with them, more road trips, um, as in like, you know, to the pet store, um, parks, stuff like that. Because this past spring, summer, I just been I was so busy. I'm and with everything that was going on, I'm gonna turn the light on. I don't want the lighting to get bad. And now that's not being smart. I look. That's being serious. But yeah. So with everything that had taken place within the, the past six months or whatever, um, actually, yeah, about the last four or five months ago, whatever. With that going on, and even before that, like when I just you know, started all these projects, uh, you know, obviously I found myself doing it, besides my boys helped me doing it alone, so they hadn't got a whole lot of attention given to them, you know, so that's my bad, but I am going to change that. I'm going to change that and make them just how Kenya and Kilo were, which Kenya and Kilo were the best. I mean, like... You can ask anybody if you ever had a chance to, uh, that new Kenya and Kilo. They were like so well behaved. I could let them out in the front yard. I like I didn't have this yard fenced, for example. You know, this yard was not fenced at all when I first got the pups. So when I had Kilo, Kenya had already unfortunately passed. Um, but when I had Kilo, like when he had to use the bathroom. I'd seriously, I'd sit, on, I'd sit on the couch or whatever, my chair or whatever, watching TV, and he'd go to the door, I'd lay him out the front door, and no fence, nothing, he'd go do his business, whatever, walk around, use the bathroom, and he'd be back at the door, hitting the door, and I'd let him back in. That's how Kenya would have been too, that's how she was at my previous residence when I was renting. This great, great dogs. So, these guys are a challenge, yeah, look at him, look at him. <laughs> He's like, hey man. I want to go look and see where you were at. <laughs> Was anybody here? Nah, you ain't gotta go look. You ain't gotta go look again. Calm down. It's all right. What are you getting? How are you getting so dirty? Nah, I, I, I don't. Not watch the pawing. That's something else I'll try to work with them on too. Is the pawing because they want to paw at you. Well, and someone's got. When someone's got decent clothing on it comes over, last thing they want to do is worry about getting muddy paw prints. But anyway, I plan on them being the same way. They're great dogs. Like they're already stopping jumping. Like they used to jump on people all the time. You know, they're not doing that no more. People still get scared that they're going to because they get so hyperactive around you. But he just looks so much bigger than just a hundred pounds. And you guys might be saying, you guys might be saying, 100 pounds is a big dog. I mean, yeah, it's a good size dog. I don't know. You guys, like I say, you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. But I really do, again, once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in, um, coming and checking it out. It seems like a lot of you guys love the dogs from the comments um, and other videos and everything. I it's great. You guys all try living with them. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and jump off here, guys, for the evening and call it a night. And I hope you guys stay safe, warm, and I love you. Peace out. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you. Better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay that